One now for part two. Nolan Christine Denning's Burwood Stud has serviced the sport of harness racing for close to 40 years. And in recent times, this very property has produced some of the sport's brightest stars. Burwood Stud have had a great strike rate when it comes to two-year-olds, more specifically the Redcliffe Yearling Sale Group 1s. In fact, they have absolutely dominated it. We have been connected with six, I think, out of the 11 finalists. So, And each year, the number who, that we've actually been connected with making the final race is getting more. So, yeah, but we have bred three, four of our own, and we're quite happy. Speaking of the winner in a recent Group 1, there is a special place in Nolan Christine's heart for one in particular, Governor Jujon, a horse that was also nominated for Queensland's Two-Year-Old of the Year Award. Breeding Governor Jujon is an achievement that the Dennings are very proud of, especially due to the success that they have had with his parents, Cammy Best, and now fifth on Broadway. Stallion Station brought him out to start with when they were in Victoria and um, they got on us to see whether we wanted to stand him up here. So we shuttled him back to America for a couple of years as well with them. And, um, and then EI year came along and, and they shut us all down here in Queensland. So he went back to Victoria and that year he only ended up with, uh, I think, seven mares or something. So they said, well, this is no good. So they put him on the market at a very reasonable rate. And we said, well, yep, we'll take him for that. And we only paid 10,000 for him. And, and he's been here ever since and, and produced plenty for us and, and all our, made a lot of our yearlings have done well for us at sales and for a minimum run sort of thing. So, yeah. And he crosses very well with so many mares with that Cam Feller line and that's, that's what we've lost along the way, but, uh, that we, but we've still got that part, so that's good. Especially by being, gives old Cammy a bit of a boost along again. He's getting older and like at 23, but he's, He's, uh, he's feeling himself still pretty good and uh, he'll, get, he'll get a number of mares and, um, and we'll give him a chance and give him some of our mares and, and hopefully can next year because every year he honestly comes out with one good one at least every year but he only gets a handful of mares so I think that's a, a plus for him where some of the higher rated stains get, get a lot more mares to them and um, on average he'd be up with them sort of thing so but, um, but anyway but it's time time goes on, I guess we'll have to find another stay in somewhere. So. I suppose his mother was probably probably had a bit of thought for her because she's a good type to start with and race well. And the whole that whole family was good. And um, with my little bit of breeding experience, I said, well, I thought it was a good cross anyway, and, and away we went from there sort of thing. So um, breeding can be come down to a, a big part of what you what I like and, and what I know somebody else is going to like. But uh, and he's in good hands, so he's gone, he's gone to someone pretty good, so they're going to get the best out of him. So. Another run aside by Cammy Best is the ever-consistent Philly, smart as can be. A Group 1 winner who had stellar two- and three-year-old seasons. They were very pleased with that, and uh, yeah, the, and the smarts were, were very happy with it, <laughs> with it all happening too, sort of thing. But um, too smart for you this year is going to Art Major. Yeah, so they're going to try something, see how it goes. And uh, yeah, I hope it, hope it all sorts out for him sort of thing, yeah. Cammy Best has served at Burwood for quite some time and his efforts at the stud have been invaluable, but there is a new man in town. Change over, a multiple Group 1 winner and a stallion who sired 115 individual winners last year. A horse which Nolan Christine believes is an excellent choice for siring future superstars. He's, he's a real gentleman. He's a real very easy horse to handle and, and, yeah, and all his youngsters are good. So um, we haven't heard any bad results of any of them, but yeah, he's just, he's just that type of horse. He's just on fire at the moment sort of thing. And like, when Gerard bought him, I think they thought in New Zealand he wasn't going to make it. But then he just seemed to turn the table and things came round. So they're, they're very happy people sort of thing. And we're happy for them too, because they are, they are extra good. Clients of ours sort of thing. So they've got a, a number, I think they've got about nine mares here and yearlings and, and all that sort of thing. And yeah, so it's a, it's a good contact to have with them as well. With the Southern Hemisphere's breeding season well underway, Burwood Stud is a hive of activity, a tiring process, but one that is extremely rewarding. We're only expecting about 70, 
this year, which is probably down by 20 or 30 on normal years. But, um, you know, it's all started and just keep going with them. We'll be finished before Christmas with the foaling, but, but we'll be into yearlings by then too. So, yeah. With Burwood Studs breeding season sure to be another success for Noel and Christine, what does the future hold for the pair? No use slowing down yet, got too much to do. <laughs> little, hopefully a little bit of slowing down in a few years, but um, retirement's not a word used around this place, so yeah. Christine wants to have a holiday, she says, so. <laughs> No, no, I don't. I, 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 can take, I can take it to Redcliffe or, or the coast, anywhere around. Don't normally do January, um, usually do March, so yeah. Yeah, fantastic story and I enjoyed last week, enjoyed this week. There has been a bit of a...